Okay, a few deities are important, Molech and Baal, and I'll get into them later. Also, Osiris, Horus, and Amun-Ra. Now, whites long ago, the Greeks specifically, used to go to Egypt and learn, including Herodotus. They used to travel down the rivers, the many rivers they have there, and they would get as far as they could inland, and they would um, notice as much as they could, and they would learn from them, and they would trade with them. Okay? Now, Alexander the Great even in a, laid in a sarcophagus for three days and three nights in Egypt. So, and this is well recorded in history as well. So there is obvious connections of white people stealing um, black ideas, okay? Egypt is a Greek word meaning black. Um, Kemet meant land of the blacks, okay? And Herodotus recorded them, uh, recorded them as being people who were dark-skinned and having wool-like hair. Okay. Um, well, the Egyptians were people that were far more advanced than other peoples. Like the Native Americans built pyramids too, but they didn't have the huge blocks. They didn't have the mathematical um, genius about them. So they weren't of the same caliber, and they weren't of the same knowledge. And they weren't as old even. So we look at this ancient empire as the the king of other empires that um, taught the other ones how to kind of have their own empire and how to do it right and other people would go there and marvel at the pyramids mar marvel at the temples the sun temples and the different gods temples and they would envy the Egyptians and the Persians would eventually invade them in the BC and in BC and during the foreign period the Romans and the Greeks would also invade for a while and then finally the Arabs after Islam invade in the seventh century and this is why Egyptians are Arab like to this day now you see in the Sudan that Arabs are killing off blacks just like they did in Egypt because this is part of not only conquest for Islam but conquest for the Arab people but they want to cover up the fact that these people were black and not Arab the blacks migrated west as the Arabs invaded from the east and a lot of the real descendants of the ancient Egyptians are the people of West African and Central African countries for that reason so let us get into more the Greeks specifically yet Socrates and Plato and all these so-called great minds but I would argue that they're in secret societies that took ideas for took ideas from the secret societies and merely made them public and and a lot of them were writing books and poems based on ideas they had learned from their concrete from their um, contact with the ancient mystery schools okay which would evolve into the secret societies so that's why I called them secret societies um, the ancient Egyptians themselves also called themselves KM or Kamal which meant black people or black god people. Now, we have to realize also that a lot of their religious stories come from uh, ancient Egypt. You know, Jesus comes from the story of Horus and Osiris and Isis. Okay? That's why you have Genesis, the genes of Isis. Okay? Well, when you look deeply into the Egyptians and to the Jews, they, the Jews learned a lot from them. So basically we have this migration of people toward Africa and we have um, the African knowledge leaving Africa with them as they're expelled and then they take credit for them. They take credit for it for themselves and they remake the deities to white, white deities. Okay. For example, in ancient Babylon, you had um, these gods that were these were African people that brought these gods to the Middle East, you know, like uh, Nena, the god of the moon, you know, Utu, god of the sun, etc. Okay, and Nimrod, you know, is Noah's grandson. He's the one who founded Babylon. So you have all this, these black people with these spiritual ideas coming, and then you have these white people with bad intentions starting to steal them. And now the ancient mystery schools are turning into secret societies, and now they have a white twist to them.
and their, the knowledge is not being used to help mankind or to have a righteous king. The knowledge is used to um, promote the secret society's will on earth and they keep it from the people and instead of giving it to the wise, they give it to the wicked people. So then, of course, Alexander the Great, after you know he laid in the sarcophagus in Egypt, he ends up dying in Babylon. Okay, that's where he died. So you see this, um, all their great generals and stuff from the old times were in mystery schools, and they learned these type of things from the blacks, Africans. Now, you also have to realize that there is a lot of um, intermixing with ideas that people all through history are um, trading with each other and observing each other and exchanging ideas, sometimes flat out stealing ideas, but sometimes it's just friendly exchange. So there was a level of friendly exchange, but not with these deeper, profound spiritual knowledge. There is no friendly exchange. There is white people going in there, conquering for a while, forcing people to reveal their secrets, taking their secrets, and pretending that they, they were the ones that came up with them. And these are the Illuminati um, secret societies I'm talking about that have take, done this, and they are the ones we have around us to this day. And of course, um, you had a, a rebirth of the Illuminati in Bavaria in 1776 on May 1st by Adam Weishaupt. Okay, but I'll get into that on my next video because I'm running short on time on this one. Um, well, what we see also is the astrology that comes from Africa. You know, the, the pyramids lined up with the three stars on Orion's belt. You see that this comes from Africa. And these ideas of astrology and telling stories based on the stars comes from Africa. And you see that this idea it is another idea that's getting stolen as it migrates to the east, to the Middle East, the Far East, and to Europe, etc. And then Western culture is nothing but stolen ideas from ancient African culture with a white man's twist. And then the white man's twist can be quite sinful and deadly at many times. Now, I do not consider myself a racist, but I consider myself as somebody who points out the facts. And these are the facts that these people have stolen these ideas. Okay? You even look at the idea that the Freemason itself means sons of light. Who are the people of the light? Well, the Egyptians, the people who are the light, who became dark because the light shone down, shone, shone on them. Because <laughs> light shines on them so much. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> so the Illuminati, the light bearers, and Adam Weishaupt admitted that the term referred to um, Lucifer in secret. But in public, he would say that it simply meant intellectual ones, enlightened ones. But in secret, he says, the, we are the light bearers of Lucifer. And he made that known to his secret groups. And you also see people exposing that they found documents from Russians who, um, during the time of Stalin and later where you see Illuminati stamps being used. And they talk about subversive methods of controlling the world. And they talk about infiltrating other governments, etc. But I'll get into that more in my next video. Well, a lot of... Alexander the Great, of course, he's known for a few battles and um, for pushing his army far into Asia. And um, a lot of the reason why it is very, it was more celebrated than, um, say, groups like the Mongols, even though Mongols had a bigger empire, is because these are white guys. And the, the main reason they're getting credit for it is ideas that they have stolen from the Egyptians. And it is quite sad that the white people have stooped so low as to steal ideas and not give cre credit to the rightful person. And then they turn around and make it such importance to them that people put their sources in the back of their book. Well, the original plagiarism has been done by you, Mr. White Man. And we are still waiting for your apology. <laughs>